Dewing Crane M2 and GoPro Hero 8. Is this the ultimate vlogging setup? Shall we talk about it today? Yes, we shall, Michelle. Let's do it. Ciao belli, welcome to a new video. Today I want to cover my vlogging setup right here. Bear in mind guys, this is not a tutorial video, it's not a review, it's just a vlog where I show you the tools and how I put them together, how I use them for vlogging. Perfect combination if you want to travel light and maybe putting in your bag also a drone, because this thing doesn't take any space and any weight. I mean, come on, look at this. If you have ever tested the GoPro Hero 8, that has a, an amazing stabilization, internal stabilization, so you might ask, why would you need a gimbal? Well, there's different reasons, actually. Usually, when I use the GoPro without the gimbal, I need to put the microphone, the external microphone, on top of the camera, and sometimes the windproof screen goes inside my frame, so it's visible in the frame. While on the crane, I can actually put it on the side, and that's not visible at all, unless you do crazy angles with a gimbal which I don't do so not a problem for me. Needless to say that also the gimbal gives me more stabilization on top of the stabilization from the GoPro so I can literally run with it and the footage will look smooth. I also tested this setup with some parkour you can check the video up here. So I'm gonna break down the costs and the tools that put together the setup. On top I've got the GoPro Hero 8 at the moment on Amazon is £314. The G-Win Crane M2 costs £199 and it comes with a small tripod that you can use as a handle as well, so very handy. And it comes with one screw for cameras and an adapter for smartphones. On the side of the crane there's a hole for a one quarter inch screw and I screwed in a small rig called shoe, which helps me to attach the microphone on top that costs £5.20. The microphone is a Rode Video Micro, it still costs £52. To attach the microphone you need an adapter, a GoPro adapter from USB-C to mini jack and that costs £50. So the total cost of this setup is £625. How do I use this setup? When I vlog, this is my main setup. It's very light, as I mentioned. Um, you can see down there, that's the Ronin S. When I put a camera on there, that's probably three, four kilos. And after a while, it's really heavy. This thing, I can carry it all day and I'll be fine. Also, if you wanted to, you can unscrew the tripod and you could actually screw in a pole, a two, three meters long pole, so you can do kind of crane shots. And I just use the gimbal in two different modes. So the vlogging mode, the gimbal actually has a selfie mode. If you click the trigger in the front three times, the crane goes in selfie mode, but sometimes the cable from the microphone gets in the way. So what I do, I just rotate and spin the handle and it's actually, it actually takes the same time. Also in this way, the microphone will always be facing the subject. So when I'm vlogging, now the microphone is facing me, but if I need to record some B-roll, then the microphone is facing the environment. So it's better than using the selfie mode anyway, because the microphone will be facing the opposite way. Very useful also, well, having the tripod is very useful, but when I'm on my own, for example, I want to sit down somewhere and talk to the camera, and uh, if the camera is in a weird angle, I can just tilt or pan the axis as I want. So tilt it up or pan it to the left and right. Again, something you couldn't probably do with, with just the GoPro. So that's when the gimbal comes handy. And then another feature, it's the under slung feature. So basically you just spin it upside down and now you can just take those nice B-roll clips you need to fill your video. The motors of the gimbal are very solid. I put it in strong mode. As you can see here, I put the adapter of the microphone just between the camera and the plate. And sometimes the weight just changes a bit because uh, this is slightly moving. But the motors again are very solid and they really take over when the weight is not properly balanced. Also, you can control either the GoPro and the crane through the apps. 
We can control both actually at the same time with the uh, ZY app, which is the GWIN app. You can control the recording button so you can record through the app and also you can control the gimbal, so the position of uh, what the camera is facing. The problem is you can't really see what's going through the GoPro. So if you're planning to use the app to control the gimbal, maybe from a distance, I think I think you need to have two different phones, one to connect the GoPro to, so you can actually see what you're recording, and one to control the gimbal. I know not everyone has two phones, but hey, it's a solution. So what are the pros for this setup? Well, as I said, it's a very light and portable setup. It could fit in a small travel pouch, and also you can put it just in your rucksack and you will not feel it all day. The battery life for the Crane M2 is eight hours. So again, you can carry on all day just keeping it on and you will be fine at the end of the day. The problem is the batteries of the GoPro. They are very bad and they last probably 30 minutes, I would say, something like that. It's a great setup that actually can give you amazing video quality. The video quality of the GoPro is great and also it's white balance. If you attach a small gimbal like the Crane M2 and an external microphone and if you are a vlogger, I don't think you will need anything else for your YouTube videos, to be honest. And I guess that's it for today about this nice setup. If you want to see more videos about the Crane and the GoPro together, go in the description tab, there's a couple of links there. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, there's a tiny bell for the notifications, make sure you turn it on. I will see you in the next vlog. God bless you and thanks for watching. Seems all good times come and go.